and then the place just goes electric with We Want Dallas. I mean, it, it brings the hair up. It still does. They said that they're going to come in here, you know, they're the butchers and we're the hogs. The thing they forgot is before a hog goes to the butcher, somebody got to kill it. Hog futures were on the rise. Only the cowboy stood between the Redskins and Super Bowl 17. Everyone in the nation's capital was going hog wild over an NFC championship date with the Redskins' arch rival. It just seems to be the natural instinct of hogs that when they see a Dallas Cowboys jersey, they want to tear it apart. We didn't like Dallas, they didn't like us. We have to beat these guys. I don't want to sit here all off season again hearing about Dallas. I'm certain that throughout time, people have had this exact same feeling when they had to go into great conquests. It's what most guys think the Super Bowl experience will be like, but the Super Bowl pales in comparison to this. Matched against the great Randy White, Russ Grimm played the game of his life, and the Redskins took control. We ran the ball like eight, nine times straight. Uh, not so much as a statement, we just felt that we could run the football. Reagan picked up about seven on that first carry, and he moved about six people with him. Behind Grimm's fairy tale performance, John Riggins ripped through the Cowboys for 140 yards. Washington was up 11 points, and Danny White was down for the count. White got shaken up by Dexter Manley. White is down. Danny White looks like he's knocked out. First thought that went through my mind, thank God he's out of there. They lose their starting quarterback. Got to be good for us. And Gary Hogaboom comes in. H-O-G-E-B-O-O-M. And then Hogaboom steps in. And my God, it's not Gary Hogaboom. It's Roger Staubach in Gary Hogaboom's uniform. Hogaboom the pass. He gets it away over the middle. Oh. From Johnson. Touchdown. So it was the highest of highs, followed by being at a wake. Our place was silent. Then our defense. Our defense stepped up and made another play. Play action fakes the door set. Hit the ball well. Set up a screen. Batted in the air. Picked off by Darryl Brand. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Wow. This was the moment. They were had it. There's a chance. They got a shot. Now they don't. The Redskins and their crew of characters were going to Super Bowl 17. The only formality was running out the clock. 4.26 left in the game. The Redskins will lead by 14. Take over at their own 38. Joe sends the play in. Spread right, 60 outside. Russ Grimm says, no. So we mean no. So I want to run 50 gut. I want to run at Randy. When the play came in, it was something like, why are we running outside? Let's let's just run the ball right at him again. They give it to Riggins over the left side before he's driven back. I look to the sidelines. Joe signals in 60 outside. All right, guys, we're going to run 60 outside. Russ goes, no. 50 gut. Riggins again, sliding right beyond the 45. What do you think, Russ? He goes, 50 gut. Here's Riggins again from the left side, inside, outside, big yard, first down. Okay, guys, I think this is working. Spread right, 50 gut. Riggins is piling up the yard. Hey, why don't we try this play? 50 gut. He powers inside the 30, down near the 26. I look at Russ and he's going, Randy, it's coming at you. Riggins again, his eighth straight carry. This had nothing to do with running the clock out. This was between Russ Grimm and Randy White and the offensive line and Randy White. They wanted to bloody him. They wanted to beat him into the ground. They wanted to bury him. The game is over, and the Redskins have won it 31 to 17, and they go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. You watch so many Super Bowls. 
wasn't here, I'd be home and having a little celebration, have people over. And now the same people will be watching me. And I love it! We're not real talented, we're not real great, but then we're the NFC champions, that's all that matters. The fact that we were going to a Super Bowl was basically anticlimactic. We had beat the team that everybody hated with a passion. All right, right out the door. That moment is the one moment that stands out in my mind more than any in my entire career as a football player.